So today we're going to go over a couple of things that are going to be causing your plant to have stems that are either red or purple. Now, both of these things can happen simultaneously on different parts of the plant, and they can also happen at different times, but a lot of them are caused by the same problems. So we're going to go over a couple of those things today and really tackle why your plants can turn red or they can turn purple. So first thing we're going to get into is stress. Now stress is a very broad spectrum. When you're talking about this plant in particular that we all know and love, you can run into a lot of stressful parts of the grow. Now a couple of them, temperature, nutrients, watering, light, humidity, uh, and pot size, and many, many more. Now we're going to go over a couple of those today, but we're going to start with temperature fluctuations. Now, the reason temperature fluctuations can stress your plants out and cause it to change color is simply because our plant does not like it to be too hot and it does not like it to be too cool. It likes a temperature in the mid 70s to low 80 range and that's pretty much where it's going to be comfortable. Now, where you can run into this issue is if you're growing indoors, it's very easy for your lights to turn off and then you go into a state where your temperature is going to lower, especially if you're using a metal halloid light. This is something you're going to want to look out for. Now, you can regulate your temperature a lot easier if you switch to something like an LED. Now, we're going to get into a little bit of how you can get yourself an, a quality LED and save a little bit of money after or uh, towards the end of this video. So stick around for that to hear about that. But you're going to want to get quality equipment. You're going to want to acclimate your environment so you're not worried about any temperature uh, fluctuations and you're not worried about anything going out or dying. Just give it like three or four days, acclimate your environment, make sure everything's running smoothly before you put plants in. And that will pretty much go for all of these tips uh, that have to do with your environment. So another thing you're going to want to do is regulate your humidity. I don't think it's going to be affecting your plant uh, too much when it comes to the color, but I can imagine that if your humidity is out of whack or fluctuates too much, that it will cause those sorts of issues. So that's something you're going to want to look out for. Now, going into the watering side of things, this can definitely stress your plant out. It can cause it to change color. It can cause it to completely lock out certain nutrients and it can cause it to get too many of a certain nutrient that it doesn't need. So the basics on pH. First off, if you're in soil, you're going to want to be anywhere in between, uh, I hear 6 and 7 a lot, of uh, 5.5 and uh, 6.5 is normally the range I go for. Uh, if I can get 6.0 to 6.5, that is ideal. Now, the importance of this is the nutrients are going to be absorbed in a certain pH range. And if you don't know what pH stands for, it stands for potential hydrogen. When you're too low on that scale, you're going to be acidic. And if you're too high, you're going to be acolytic or a base or an acid. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to regulate that, be somewhere near the middle, a little bit more towards the acidic side. Like I said, seven is in the middle and it goes up to 14. So you're gonna to wanna to be 6.5 or 6.0 and you pretty much should not be running into any issues. But if you are running into issues and your light's not too high in intensity, your um, temperature is consistent and your plants are still purple or red, you're gonna to wanna to do yourself a favor, back back up, hit that pH, measure it, make sure you're in a good range. And if you want to go the extra mile, you can also do a slurry test or test the runoff, see what pH it's coming out, especially if you're running the organic side of things, you're going to want to know what pH that's coming out. And it's going to give you a better idea of what's actually going on in the pot. So that's another thing that could be going on. It could be getting too much of a certain range of nutrients and it could be getting not enough of a certain range of nutrients causing your plant to stress out and turn purple or red. Light intensity. So you're going to want to dial in your light intensity because it can come with a lot of issues. One being light bleaching, which I'll put a link to down in the description. I did a video talking about light bleaching, which can be a big problem, but it can also turn your plants purple or red. And this is also known as a suntan. 
uh, for your plants, but it is a bad suntan, similar to how light, especially from the sun, with its UV rays, can cause cancer in humans. Too intense light in your grow space can also cause problems for your plants, so you're going to want to look out for that. Now, if you get a light that I recommend, which is Spider Farmer lights, which are fantastic, uh, I'll put the uh, site down below with the promo code, save a little bit off at checkout, that is CE423P. That's going to get you some money off at checkout at spider-farmer.com. But with these lights in particular, not only can you raise and lower them, but you can also dim the lights, giving you a lot more flexibility in your range. Uh, so you can really dial in what your plants need. And if your plants are facing an issue where the light is too intense, you can simply dim it down or raise that light up, lower that intensity, and hopefully not have any more issues. Another thing that can cause this is being in a pot that's too small. Now, being in a pot that's too small, your plant is going to obviously have a hard time stretching out its legs or its roots, really, but stretching out its legs, finding new nutrients. Uh, getting a new place to go is going to be extremely difficult. And if you have your plants in a pot for too long, it is going to stress your plant out, causing it to purple out or turn red, a color we normally don't want to see. The only exception is this reason, genetics. And to find out if your plant has a certain genetic where the stems or the leaves stems are turning purple, you're going to want to talk to the breeder. If you can get a hold of the breeder or read up on some forums to find out really what your plant is going through, why is it turning red or purple, and why can't I fix it? If you run down the list of all the reasons why it's turning red or purple and you can't fix it, it's most likely a genetic issue, especially if your plant is growing normally. I would not worry at all. Over or under watering your plants is going to be detrimental no matter what side of the spectrum you're on. Now, if you overwater your plants, the telltale sign is that they are drooping and the tips are curling in. If you're seeing that effect, especially the curling leaves, you're going to want to wait for your plant to dry. Wait for it to dry a lot. Uh, it's going to uptake the water slower. You're not going to be on your normal watering schedule because you added too much. So you're going to want to let it dry and work itself out. You might want to turn the light up a little bit, uh, turn the temperature up slightly, but still in a comfortable range to increase the evaporation or um, put a fan down a little bit lower on the canopy, point it at the soil. Just get that vape, the, the water out of that pot a little bit more. Uh, if you need to, get better drainage. I grow in fabric pots, so that's normally not an issue, but I could see it being an issue for overwatering if I tried watering way too often. Now, the underwatering side of things, this can also stress your plants out. I don't know if it will cause the purple slash red effect, but it could. Uh, you're going to want to make sure your plant's soil is not getting too dry. Uh, I'm facing a learning curve right now because I'm growing in organic soil, which I've only done one or two other times, but that's neither here nor there. If you guys want to hear more about that, you can hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like, but I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much.